Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God. We thank God today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God today for another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord. His house tonight is in the parking lot. We're going to promote We're going to praise God anyhow because Jesus is in our midst. We praise him today for his loving kindness. We thank him for his tender mercy. We're going to go to the throne of grace right now and ask God to come in and meet us here. In the name of Jesus, God, we look to you right now. Lord Jesus, in your name, we pray, God, that you will look down upon us on this day, a day we've never seen before. God, we're asking you to move by your spirit, move by your power, Lord. In the name of Jesus, come in and touch us today, Lord. Come in and deliver today, Lord. Come in and set free today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, come in and lift heavy burdens. Lift every bow down head. In the name of Jesus, God, we're praying today, God, that you will let your power prevail in this place, God, that you will bless, hallelujah, the all of the that they say, that you will bless every portion of the service. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you will send your word today, that you will meet our needs, God, through your word. Lord, we thank you right now for all that you're going to do. We're going to give you the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. And now we're going to go to the scripture, which is going to be found in Isaiah, the sixth chapter. Praise the Lord. I'm going to go begin reading at the first verse. And in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried into another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with his hand from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips. Thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I send me and he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not and see ye indeed and perceive not may the lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word amen, amen. amen. all right man, let's give god a hand praise amen let's give god a hand praise come on let's give him glory i know we're in the parking lot but let's give god
share the Facebook Live, amen, for those who are in need. We are here for you. Zion Church is on your side, amen. And for those of you who would like to sow a seat into good ground, somebody say good ground. Good ground. Good ground. That's Zion Church in Jesus Christ. And if you would like to mail that in, our address is 3723 Altos Avenue, Sacramento, California, 95838. Or you can upload the app, Givelify, and you can give there. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to call the praise team up, and we're going to go forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody in the parking lot. And praise the Lord, everybody on Facebook Live. We came to magnify and give God all the praise and honor that he's due. How many know that he is an awesome God? Hallelujah. Yeah, how many know that he is an awesome God? Hallelujah. Come on, this song is real simple. Join us in this worship. Hallelujah. You can step out of your cars. You can lift your hands wherever you may be. If you're in your living room or your bedroom, come on and praise the Lord along with us. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
him for that and we thank him. Truly we honor Pastor Deary, Lady Deary, and to whom all honor is due to all the ministerial staff, to the mothers of Zion, and at least and to of course to my wife in her absence. I pray that she's watching. Amen. I love you girl. Amen. And we praise God for all of you that are here. I want to get out your way. I want to call your attention to the book of St. John, the Gospel of St. John. 
Pastor, I, I, was, I had compassion on you when I was sitting in my car when you were standing out in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Amen. St. John, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1. Let's get into the Word of God. Is that all right? St. John, chapter 1. Verse 1 and 2. And then we're going to go to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6 through 8. This wind. St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 2, and then verse 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 14 says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6 through 8. When they therefore was come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Can we say amen? amen. We praise God for those words of scriptures in which we have read. And it is from those verses of scriptures that I want to speak to you from the subject, from word to power. From word to power. Power. And if you don't mind, repeat these words after me. Say, repeat these words. Say, I've received the word. Now I've got the power. Because I've got to marinate for a minute. Huh? I've received the word. Now I've got the power. As I considered these verses of scripture, can you hear me? Yeah. As I considered these verses of scriptures and, and the subject, I thought about how it is a great blessing and what a great blessing and honor it is to be able to read and to study the word of God. The reason why is because reading and studying the word of God allows us to get into the mind of God. Reading and studying the Word of God allows us to grasp the mindset of God and to fully understand God's love for us and to understand His divine purpose for our lives. I love that scripture where David declared, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Because there's power in the word of God. There's understanding in the word of God. Everything that we need is in the word of God. Every promise that God has made all we have to do is just read the Word of God, stand on the Word of God by faith, stand back, praise Him, and watch God work and bring it to pass. I wonder if I have anyone that's sitting here in a parking lot that, can un that, that has understanding about the Word of God. Has the Word of God really been manifested in your life? Have you ever stood on a promise of God? And time you 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 prayed it, you prayed for it, you, you prayed about it, you, you praised him for it, and after a while, God, what did he do? He turned it around and he brought his promise to pass. Aren't you glad for the word of God? Yes. If 
you're happy for the word of God, put your hands together and give him a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Reading and studying the word of God allows us, amen, to, to get into the mind of God. Reading and studying the word of God, it allows us to understand what God has in store for those that love him. And yes, to understand what God has in store for those that reject him. Mm -hmm. This is critical for us to understand because the creator, God, wants the created man to have no doubts about who he is, about what he can do, and have no doubts about what God is going to do. And that's the significance when we talk about the mind of God because the Bible declares, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, mm -hmm. neither your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as high as the heaven, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Uh, in other words, in order for us to know the mind of God, God has to, amen, God has to give us revelation. And once we get revelation, then we take part in the manifestation. Let me say that again. God, in order for us to understand what God has in store for us. God has to give us revelation through his word. And once we get revelation, then God will give us, we have to take part in his manifestation. Hold on to that. Put a dot right there because we're going to touch on that in a minute. Because revelation and manifestation is the key. Mm -hmm. For revelation is an act of revealing or communicating divine truth. An act of revealing to view or making known. When we look at this word manifestation, manifestation is something plain, something open, clearly visible to the eye, not obscure and not difficult to be seen. And this is where our text comes in. It's St. John 1 and 1. For in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Ah, oh, it's in the word, it's in the word, it's in the word, the, the logos, the, the mind of God, the thought of God, amen. And in the thought of God, when it gives revelation, plays an important part. Just stay with me and I'll be out your way. Amen, it plays an important part because God, who was in eternity, has to make known his thoughts to man in time. Mm -hmm. Yes, God, God, who was in eternity, has to make known his thoughts to man in time. God has to give, he has to make known his divine truth to man in order for man to believe that he is and for man to know that there is no other God besides him. Aren't you glad for revelation? Amen, amen, amen. Before revelation came, amen, some of us didn't even know that there was a God. Some of us didn't even believe that there was a God. We just went on our own thoughts. We, we went on our own, what we call our own instincts. Amen. We went on our own feelings. Amen. But one day, amen, in the fullness of time, and I'm going to touch on that too, in the fullness of time, at that set time, God revealed himself to you and he revealed himself to me. Now, we were all in different situations and circumstances, but, but still God revealed himself to us, amen, so that we will understand and know that he is the only living and true God. And now that we know who he is, I mean, we can stand on his promises, we can stand on his word, we can stand in no matter what situation we face, what problems we face, we can stand on the word of God because we know that the God we serve has all power and there's nothing too hard for him. Somebody put your hands together and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. It's difficult preaching outside. You don't hardly hear anybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> My God. I'm not, but hallelujah. Uh, it's, it's, it's all because revelation made for man to believe and to know that God is God and there's none besides him. That, Amen. It is because of revelation that we know that, that God is man, that he's a God that cannot lie. I heard it said that I, if, if God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. I like the question he asked in Isaiah 46 and 5. To whom will ye liken me and make me equal and compare me that ye may be like me? Ah, uh, there is no God like our God. Now, 
Amen. I was, me and the wife was talking this morning as we were studying the Sunday school lesson. We were talking about how God, he really moved in the Old Testament. Ah, uh, God didn't, I'm not saying he's playing now, but God didn't play in the Old Testament. Amen. When he wiped you out, he wiped you out right there. He didn't hesitate. When God said he want to get you, he, he got you. He got you in the Old Testament. But somebody say, thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. Ah, uh, thank God for grace, because if it wasn't for the grace of God, God could have wiped us out when we was in our sin. All right, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank God for grace, because sometimes when we think the things that we're not supposed to think, grace steps in, not judgment don't step in, but, but grace steps in, and God gives us another chance to repent. Somebody say, thank God for grace. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. We were talking, amen. I believe it was, in the, it was later on in the Sunday school lesson, amen, where the wife was telling me, amen, how Jezebel, how she died, amen, and, and how, oh God, how, how God's judgment came on Jezebel. And, and then we thought about, my God, if it, if it wasn't for the grace of God today, Paul says, I will not frustrate the grace of God. Amen. Because of his grace, he has not wiped us out. Because of his grace, amen, we're still alive and kicking. Yeah, yeah. Because of his grace, amen, we can still praise him. Yeah. Open up our mouths and give him glory and open up our mouths and give him praise. Yeah. And, and if you don't mind, here in the parking lot, just for a few seconds, open your mouth and give God a praise for his grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God for grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, to whom will you like it and make me equal? But there is no God like our God. God is a God that can heal. Yes, he, he's a God that can make a way out of no way. He is a God that can deliver. He is a God that can save. Uh, if you know, amen, that he is a true and living God, uh, somebody shout glory in this parking lot. Uh, hallelujah. If you know he is a God that can deliver, Hallelujah. Put your hands together and give him a praise. Well, let me hurry up and get out your way. When we look at the text in, in verse number 14, the word was, the Bible says, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. In other words, the thought of God, the word of God was manifested in the fullness of time for man to see. Oh, my God. I wonder what it was like, amen, to be the disciples of Christ. Amen. To see God move, to see God manifested in flesh, to see the true and living God, to, to sit down and have a conversation with God manifested in the flesh. I wonder how the disciples felt. Amen. When they saw Jesus performing miracles. Uh, amen. They saw it for their, with their own eyes. They, they saw it for themselves. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that it was an awesome sight to see. Uh, amen. To see God manifested in flesh. Uh, to lay, amen, to raise Lazarus from the dead. Uh, I'm sure it was an awesome sight to see. Uh, amen. To see this woman, amen, with the issue of blood. Uh, touch the hem of his garment and she be made hold of the, I, my God, my God, what a sight it had to be, amen, to see Jesus walking on the water, I'm not, oh my God, my God, amen, it had to be a something, it had to be a sight to see, to see God himself manifested in flesh, to do the things that he had done, and to do the things that he did, in other words, amen, the thought of God, the mind of God, the word of God was manifested in the fullness of time uh, for man to see. Uh, uh, from word, somebody shout, from word to power. Uh, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was created in the, who was concealed in the Old Testament, he became revealed in the new. Uh, Jesus Christ, the Lamb slain before 
the foundation of the world, manifested, clearly visible to see that man's ways, that your way and my way out of sin and bondage was now on the scene. Oh, my God, my God. The Bible declares in Hebrews chapter 1, God who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, Jesus Christ, whom he hath made heir upon, to whom he hath appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the world. Oh, people of God, people of God, you that are in the parking lot, and you that are on Facebook Live, oh, it's important for us to hear what God is saying, and it is important for us to see what God is revealing. We cannot walk around here with blinders on. We cannot walk around here with our ears stopped up, because every day God is speaking. And the Bible declares, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Yeah, uh, yeah. We must understand, 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 I feel it now, on, uh, that God is speaking in this time of the pandemic. Uh, he is speaking in this time of unrest. Yes, he, is. Uh, he is speaking in this time of protest. Uh, he is speaking, he is speaking, he is speaking. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's up to you and to me yeah. uh, to fall down on our faces uh, yeah. and to call on the name of the Lord yeah. uh, and ask God say, God, open up my ears to hear uh, what you're saying to me. Uh, open up my eyes that I can see uh, what you're revealing to me. Uh, because I know that you're soon to come. Uh, and when you come, when you come, when you come, uh, you're coming back for a glorious church. Uh, a church, a man without spot or wrinkle uh, or any such thing. Uh, can I get comfortable through here? Uh, my God, my God, I feel it in my spirit. Uh, I wish I could preach it the way I feel it. Uh, but God is speaking church. Uh, and we've got to stop all this nonsense. Uh, uh, we've got to get out the world system uh, and get into the heavenly king system. Uh, uh, we've got to get into the word of God. Uh, uh, fall down on our knees. Uh, uh, grab hold to the horns of the altar uh, uh, and cry out to God. Uh, uh, oh God, what are you telling me to do? Uh, uh, where are you telling me to go? Uh, uh, what are you telling me to say? Uh, uh, whatever you, okay, Pastor, here we go. Uh, uh, whatever you're doing in this season, uh, uh, in this season of the pandemic, uh, in this season of unrest and rule, unruliness, uh, uh, in this season of death on the black people, uh, uh, what are you telling me to do? Uh, uh, how can I be a blessing uh, uh, in this time? Uh, uh, how can I be a benefit uh, uh, to you in this time? Uh, uh, for whatever you're doing in this season, uh, uh, Lord, don't do it without me. Uh, uh, if you want me to preach, God, uh, uh, I'll preach your word. Uh, uh, if you want me to lay hands on someone, uh, uh, I'll lay hands on them. Uh, uh, whatever you're doing in this season, uh, uh, Lord, don't do it without me. Uh, uh, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Oh God, oh God. From word to power, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was concealed in the Old Testament, is revealed in the New. Jesus Christ, the Lamb, slain before the foundation of the world, manifested visibly, clearly to see. Amen. That, that, that man, that your way and my way, out of sin and bondage, was now in on the scene. Oh, my God. People of God, we must hear what God is saying. Yeah, yeah, Jesus, yeah. when he came on the scene, he did not bring a message from God. Let me say that again. <laughs> Jesus, when he came on the scene, he did not bring a message from God yeah. because he was the message. On, yeah. Not only was he the message, but he was the personality of God. Yeah. And not only was he the personality on, of God, but Jesus was God. Manifested 
in flesh. Come on, Rick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus was revelation and manifestation all at the same time. Somebody say, what a mighty God we serve. Jesus, he's God in creation. He's son in redemption. And he's the Holy Ghost in the church. From word to power. The word was made flesh. The flesh died on Calvary's cross. But the songwriter says, they hung him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head. Then he died. But that's not how. The story is, three days later, he rose again. He rose with all power. He rose. With all power in heaven and in earth, I heard the Bible say, therefore we are buried with him in baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Now the question may be asked, how can this be? Well, the Bible says, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. I received the word. Now, I got the power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not just power. Not just any power. But First Lady Dunamis power. Come on now. Power in action, the, the power that gives authority, the, the power and that gives authority, and the authority is in the name of Jesus. From word to power, oh my God, my God, the word says, Whatsoever ye bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, whatsoever ye loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The word says, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. My God, my God, the word says, whatsoever you do in word and deed, do it all in the name of Jesus. I received the word. Now I got the power. Say that to me. I received the word. Now I've got the power. I've got the power. Uh, I got power uh, to lay hands on the sick uh, and they shall recover. Uh, I'll finish it some other time. Uh, I got power uh, to lay hands on the sick uh, they shall recover. Uh, I got power uh, to live holy. Uh, be ye holy uh, for I am holy. Uh, aren't you glad uh, that you see the word? Uh, now you got power uh, down on the Inside. I'm the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm the, that's why we sang the song. I'm the, it was early one morning. I'm the, it's about the break of day. I'm the, Jesus came and touched me. I'm the, and he washed my sins away. I'm the, I started running. I'm the, I started shouting. I'm the, I had no time for doubting. I'm the, oh, I got the Holy Ghost. I'm the, the Holy Ghost. I'm the, moving on the the, the Holy Ghost, and the, oh my God, manifesting itself and the, from the inside out. And the, when the people see you, and the, they should see the Holy Ghost. And the, when the people hear you, and the, they should hear the Holy Ghost and the, speaking through you. And the, that's why I'm so glad. And the, in the beginning was the Word. And the, the Word was with God. And the, and the Word was God. And the, the same was in the beginning with God. But I like that 14th verse. But the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. 
Lord, but I want to hold on to that one. The Word was made flesh. I'm so glad that God revealed His cross. He didn't keep it to Himself, but He wanted us to know just how much He loved us. For the Bible says, for God so loved the world, He could talk and tell my wife all day long, baby, I love you, but I've got to show her, because action speaks louder than words, baby, I love you, well, she going to say, well, then show me that you love me, yeah. hallelujah, and that's what God did, he showed us just how much he loved us, he showed you just how much he loves you. Aren't you glad for the revelation? Aren't you glad for manifestation? Aren't you glad for the love of God revealing himself to you? For God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son that whosoever, 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 should not perish, but have everlasting life. I feel like running. I feel like jumping. But I got to hold myself together. I'm trying to church to hold myself together. I wish you could turn that off so I could run. Hallelujah. I'm so glad for the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm so glad for the power of God. those together <laughs> now when I put both of those together the word and the power I'm a powerful individual when we put the word of God together I see when we put the word of God together the word of God and the Holy Ghost together the Bible tells us what we can do. But if we don't allow the power of God down on the inside to manifest itself on the outside, then we just have words. But no, isn't it amazing when you really think about it? Jesus was the word manifested. And he was the power manifested. And he says that he shall receive power. After that, somebody shout after that. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And, and, and it, it's, I don't want to get out here. But it is amazing how some people say they got the Holy Ghost, but their actions are different. I said, I should have known. I should have went out there. They show a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. I don't want to go back, as the scripture says, like a dog turning back to his father. Because that makes no sense. Why would I want to get delivered from what I've been delivered from and then go back into it? It makes no sense makes no sense. That's why I'm so thankful for the word that says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word, Mother Eames, was made flesh and dwelt among us. God, I, that, that, I just can't get that out of my head. It, it had to be a sight to see. 
Jesus right there in the midst of his disciples doing miracles, walking on water, feeding thousands, raising the dead. Amen. If, if I, I don't, it doesn't say what happened to, it doesn't say what happened to that, so, that soldier when Peter cut his ear off. Jesus picked it up, put it back up. I wonder what happened to that soldier. I wonder if he was converted. That would have converted me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got real life. I'm sorry. But still, people did not receive him and did not understand and believe who he was. Out of all the miracles that he did, a lot of people still didn't believe. But aren't you glad that you believe? Come on, put your hands together and give God the praise. I'm going to stop right there. What I'm going to do, uh, I was going to ask the pastor to come and lead us in prayer. Close. Amen. Yes, Lord. You're going to have to get you another mic. Come on, put your hands together and give God a praise. From word to power. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise for the word of God going forth. Hallelujah. Lord, Facebook family. That was an awesome word. Yes. From word to power. God has given us power. He's given us everything we need to occupy until he comes. And we may not be able to occupy in the building, but we can occupy wherever we go because the kingdom of heaven is within us. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, Father, today, we know that you know what's going on in our world. All the turmoil, all the confusion, Lord, all the chaos, all the killing, Lord, all the negativity. Our world is in darkness. But I heard you say, Father, that ye are the light of the world. You commanded us your children to shine in darkness. Father, give us what to say. Give us what to do. Lead us and guide us with your staff, the Holy Ghost. Touch our world. Touch the leadership of this country. In the name of Jesus. Father, we need you. Ain't no question about it. We need you. We need you more today than we did on yesterday. And we thank you. We give your name praise. We give your name honor. We give you the glory for all the things you have done. But, Father, we need you. Hallelujah. To come into the midst of this chaotic season. Give your people encouragement, God. Edify them. Build them up, Lord. Help them to stand. You declare it after done all that you can. Stand. Help us to stand on your word. In the name of Jesus. Father, we're asking, we're pleading that you would destroy, in the name of Jesus, this coronavirus. That you would give the people healing. I know the demand that you made. I know what you said. But if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and would pray and would seek my face and turn from our wicked ways, you said, then would you hear from heaven? You would forgive our sin and you would heal the land. We're asking God that you would heal the land. Heal the world. In the name of Jesus. We love you today. We thank you for the word that was brought forward today, oh God. Help it. Help us to walk in it. Help us to believe it. Help us to stand on it. And we will continue to give your name praise and honor. 
Let the people of God say amen. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. God bless you on Facebook Live. We thank you for joining us on, on this morning. Hallelujah. Until next time, you be safe. You be encouraged. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.